The principal transmission cycle of West Nile virus is between mosquitoes and many species of birds. Mosquitoes become infected with West Nile virus when they feed on an infected bird. About 10 to 14 days after the mosquito bites the infected bird and gets the virus, the mosquito can transmit the virus to a person, another bird, or another kind of animal. The mosquito injects the virus into the bird, other animal, or person while taking blood. West Nile virus can multiply inside the person, bird, or animal that becomes infected and it may cause illness. People and most other mammals don't play a role in spreading the virus, however. Humans and horses are sometimes referred to as incidental or dead-end hosts for the virus because research suggests that they do not develop enough of the virus to continue the cycle and infect mosquitoes that bite them. Some species of birds, such as crows and jays, are more likely to die when they get infected with West Nile virus, while other birds like chickens and pigeons seem less likely to get sick. As of spring 2002, infection with West Nile virus has been documented in over 162 different species of birds in the U.S. There are several ways that health authorities look for and measure West Nile virus in the environment. One important way is through collecting dead birds and testing them to see if they've been infected with West Nile virus. This is why people are often asked to report dead birds. State and local health departments have different policies for reporting and collecting dead birds, so contact your local health department for instructions. If authorities do not need to test the dead bird you find, the bird can be disposed of with routine garbage. It's never a good idea to touch any dead wild animal with your bare hands, so always use an inverted plastic bag or similar method to pick up a dead bird or animal.